Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'll show you guys how to set up Amazon on Refract. So let's get started. So I'm gonna head over to the proxy company that I use. I'll put this, the first link in the description. The ones that I use are the USA Signatures and the Retail ISPs. They have other ISPs, resis, that you'll need for botting, but they have an FAQ page right here showing you what specific proxy recommendations. So reserve residential plan for those, signature ISPs for those, and then the retail ISPs for those, and then the utility ISPs, as well as the event ISPs. So there is a range from 15 to 100 if you want to buy the regular plan or you can just buy a subnet. It's just up to you. If you're just starting out, I recommend just buying a smaller plan than just scale your way up. Okay, going into Refract, these are a few checkouts that I got with unknown proxies, but you don't need to set a profile for Amazon. Sorry about that. I'm actually doing a voice recording right now, but... Make sure, so the default card will be your preferred payment method. So whatever is selected as your preferred payment method, make sure you have it as your preferred payment method. And that goes along with your address. Make sure it is selected as your preferred payment method because anything that is selected as your preferred payment method, it will check out and then it will ship to that address. Sorry about that. The video got corrupted towards the end, so. I'm just going to redo it on my server, so but you can do it on your local or server, it's just up to you. I just have it on my server because just faster connection times, but let's get started. So obviously profiles, you don't need a profile for Amazon because it'll just use your select preferred payment method and your address like select preferred. Add your proxies right here, you can name it whatever you want, and then add your proxy list right there, accounts, so AMZ, account group, and then you can add it right here or just manually add it right there. It's on US, and then you type in your email, type in your password, and then I recommend using a login proxy. If you didn't hear me the first time, I recommend using a login proxy, okay? But make sure your status right here says logged in. If it says idle, that means you're not logged in and you won't be able to create a task. So heading to the task section, click create group. Tests for the video. Amazon US, there we go. Create, select multi skew input. And then click add top right. So the differences between turbo and normal is turbo will attempt to check out with the buy now button and normal will just be like a regular, regular uh, checkout, like on your phone. So it'll like normally process the payment like slower rather than using the buy now button compared to using turbo, but it's just really up to you. You can use a mix of turbo and normal. That's what I do because sometimes one or the other doesn't work, but typically turbo does work. So I just have turbo for most of my stuff, but you can run a mix. Select your proxy list, click unknown, and then your account. Do not mess with error delay. Do not mess with task quantity. You can mess with item quantity if you want. I'm just going to do one for today's video. Okay, let's find some products on Amazon. Found some Pokemon. If you want to enter in another SKU, click enter, enter again, and then it'll go down right here. So let me get another SKU. There we go, got a SKU. Whoops, so if that happens, enter, enter again. 
and then re-grab the skew. There we go. Enter, and then it'll say task group updated successfully. So you don't need to worry about anything else. Just add your proxy list while you're at it. And then price minimum, I'm just gonna put 10. Price maximum, I'm gonna put 25. But say you're running for EBTs, you can do uh, 50 and then do like um, 80 bucks like max checkout and then it'll check out from 50 to 80. $80 range. It's just really up to you. you. Just play around with it. Loop checkout. So max checkouts if you leave it empty, but after five checkouts, it will stop the task. But I'm just going to do one loop checkout. Okay. And for monitor delay, you can run 3,500. I typically run 2,500 to 3,500, but for the sake for today's video, I'm just going to run 3,500. I'm going to click start, checking the account, waiting for product. At the top right, it will show the product and waiting for restock. Oh, sorry. I forgot. This is actually a third party item. That is my bad. Softband OOS. Whoops. Adding to cart, submitting order. You hear the little chime right there. And we can check it right here. So I just checked out this item right here. Okay. And that's how you set it up. Obviously, if you want to loop checkouts, you can turn this bump this up to bump this up to five. But it's just whatever the monitor picks up first, it will check that out. And I'll start it again. I just have it on faster. Oh, oh, oh. Let me turn this on normal because I already did a turbo mode. There we go. Generating session. And there we go. The blue box up there. Preparing to check out. And then you'll hear the chime and the checkout notification right there. There we go. There's the chime. Softband OOS is normal, by the way. And getting prepared to check out another one. There we go. I just have this allow third party on because I accidentally left the, uh, I forgot this was not sold and shipped by Amazon. This is sold and shipped by collectors and whatever. Okay, I need to stop this task. This task is continuously checking out other crap. So, but you can see it works. I checked out two blues and two greens. Okay, 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 I need to stop this, but that's how you guys set up Amazon. If you guys have any other questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible.